So now let's try to understand this project structure. Now if you remember in the last video we have talked about how to create a jersey project and we have done that right you can see we have we got this project here. Now this is a simple web project based on Maven and again you, if you open this form XML file you'll be, getting, you'll be getting all the jersey, jersey dependency there. Now the most important thing is let's try to understand this structure here. So if you expand this SRC folder and if you expand this main and if you have ever worked on servlet JSP before you, you know this structure right. So we have this Java folder where you'll be having all your Java files, of course, right? When you talk about servlets, when you talk about uh, your model classes, everything will, be, will belong to this Java folder. And all your pages, like example, uh, JSA pages, then you'll be having your JavaScript pages will be belong to this uh, this web, web, web app. And if you expand this web app, we, all, we already have a index.jsp. Now you might be thinking this is, a, this is a REST project, right? Where you will return data in a text format or JSON format. Why do you even need this index.jsp? Uh, I guess uh, when you create this project in a jersey format, they give you this page just to test your application if, you're, if everything is working or fine or not. This is not exactly what you uh, will be using. So this is, our, just, this, this is a, just a test file for you. So it's, if you open that, you can see it says uh, the resources you will find everywhere. You will find it, my resources, and it belongs to Web API. Again, th those are things are there. And this is only for testing, okay? And then uh, it prints Project Jersey website and all those things. But if you can see, we are getting an exception. We are getting some error here. It says the superclass Java X dot servlet dot HTTP dot servlet, uh, HTTP servlet is not, is not found. Uh, the problem here is, Whenever you create a web, web project, you have to make sure that you have Tomcat assigned or any web server assigned here. So in the target runtime, you have to take this, you have to say check mark, which is Apache Tomcat 8.0 target connected. And now if you click on OK, you can see the error is gone. So you have to make sure that you are assigning some web server to your project so that it will understand that it, it will get that HTTP servlet uh, class. Now everything seems good. So let's let's try to run this application. Oh, before running, I have just one more thing. If you open this Java folder inside, the, we have com folder. We have the entire package list here, right? We we got demo rest, and inside that we have a file, a Java file called as my resources. Now inside this my resource, you can see we have a method called as get it. Okay, so we have get it, which has two things, which is added it get added it produces. What it means that we'll we'll, we'll talk about this later in detail. Time in, we don't want that. Let I mean let's keep it there. So the thing is, if I run this application, if I if I click on this button, as you can see, you will getting you will be getting this page. When you click on this web resource, you will be getting something, right? So even before clicking on that, what I will do is I will just focus here. I want to I want to print get, uh, got it. Doesn't matter where I print it, maybe in the console or maybe in the page. So let's try to understand that how that works. Now to run this application, what I will do is I will right click this. I will say run as run on server. So I already have a Tomcat server in the running state. So if I click on that, it will restart my server, of course. And if you run this, um, okay. Now you got this page, right? Th that means everything is working. Now that's an, that's what you say, uh, a delusion. Now if you if you open this console, you can see we have an error. Uh, doesn't matter if you got the output, but still we got, we got an error, right? The error is injection manager factory was not found. Again, uh, due to some update, they have they have made some changes. Uh, so this thing is not working in the new version. Uh, so what I will do is I will do I will make some changes here. So in my Palm XML file, if you just go down, you can see we have Jersey version, which is 2.26-B06. You have to make sure that you you make it as B03. Okay, it is working in this version. Uh, I guess there is some problem with the new version. So if I say save. Uh, it will change my resources if I expand this Java resources and if I expand libraries inside which you have Maven dependencies. You can see the jersey now changed to 0, 03. Uh, I guess it will work now. Uh, let's run this once again. Uh, okay, let me just restart my route, restart my um, thing. Where is my server? It's here. And let's right click and restart. I hope it will work this time. So it's running, it's running. As you can see, there is no problem now. There's no error. And let's get back there. And if I say enter, okay, you got the same output. In fact, I don't want this output to be to be used in the internal browser. I hate internal browser of Eclipse. 
I want to use my own browser, I will use Firefox. So just go to window, go to web browser and click on Firefox. Uh, now, if you go to Firefox, again, next time when you run this, it will it will open in Firefox, but this time I will open the Firefox by myself and I will say enter. Oh, what was that? Ignore that, let me just copy this. I guess that this is some number I copied from somewhere. Let's say enter, not here, <laughs> what's happening? Okay, so if I go to browser, I can see we are getting this page. Now, of course, when you click on this, it will call for resource, but let me just type it by myself. I will say my resource, and if I say enter, oh, we got an error. We, I was expecting a uh, got it, right? Which is a uh, text which, which, which should have printed. Maybe it is printing on console. Let's go back to console. Let's see if you got, if you got, got it there. Oh, it's not there. So that, that, that message is not able to find the resource. Why it is not able to find the resource? To understand that, let me just go to one of the most important file in your project, which is if you go to web INF, you have web XML file. Now this is the most important file. As you can see, it says, uh, to work with Jersey, this is the class which you have to use. This is your servlet container. So whenever you send any request, this is the class which will handle your request for Jersey. But hold on. It will accept only those requests which are coming with this URL, which is web API slash. That means when you request for my resource, you have to also mention web API slash my resource. And now when you run this, can you see that we got, got it, right? So that's how your REST thing works. Again, this is a simple text, okay? This is not a page. This is a simple text. Again, you can type it here in the address bar or uh, what, you could, what, what we could have done is we can simply say uh, resource or just a resource and it, it sends the request for the same, same thing. And that's why I have not clicked on that uh, before. I wanted to show you how to access your resources with the help of Web API. Again, if you can change that from your uh, URL pattern, if you remove this, it will work perfectly fine. If you remove from here, you don't have to put Web, Web, Web API there, right? So that's how that, that's how your first web service works. So let me just repeat. Uh, no, we have not done any changes yet. We are working with the same project which you, which Jersey gives you. Because I want to, I want to make, I want to make you understand what the basics of Jersey here so that we can continue in an easy pace. Okay. So what is happening here? So when you send a request for my resource, this is a path which is linking. So when you say, when you go, when you go to your browser, uh, what was that? Let me just remove that. Yeah. So when you go to your browser, when you send my resource request, the, the, the request goes to WebXML file and it sends the request to the servlet container, which says I have to search for this path my resource and when, once you get this path connected of course you have to you have to use this class inside which you have only one method called as get it and on that we are mentioning get now what is this get get specifies whenever you send a get request this is the method i want to access is it a get request as of now by default all the requests are get right so to specify it's a get request we are saying get now, what is produce? Uh, again, we'll talk about this produce in in, uh, in the next video. But then we are printing got it right, which is returning and it is going on the on the page. So yeah, that's it. Of this is our first Jersey project. So that's it from this video. In the next video, we'll we'll do some changes and we'll make our own stuff. So that's it, guys. That's it from this video. Do click on the like button and do subscribe for further videos.